Hi there, it's Clarence Speaks and welcome to the CV74 channel. Now, I don't know if you're the same as me and you have bought a brand new Fire HD tablet just the other day when it was on Amazon Prime Day and you got it for £49, which is an absolute bargain. Well, I picked one up for my daughter and I thought I'd just show you how to get the Play Store on it because she, like every other kid, is absolutely YouTube daft. So, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. The first thing that we have to do though is we have to turn on unknown sources and how we do that is we just scroll down from the top and we go into settings and then we're looking for security and privacy. Just there. And then what we have to do is turn on apps from unknown sources. Just like that and then press OK. OK, that being said, let's go back to the home screen. And now what we have to do is go into the Silk browser and I recommend watching this video on the Silk browser. So what you have to do is just go into Silk browser and just ignore that. And then what you have to do is just go into YouTube. I've already done it before. And there we go. And then watch the video that way. It'll be a lot easier because all the links will be in the description and you can just drag them and click them as you please, it's the easiest way. So I'm just gonna shut that down. Now, what you have to do is go into the description and click on the first link, which is the Google Framework APK. Now, if you move down here, you'll notice last updated is April the 4th, 2016. You might think these are out of date, but this is the current version because if you look up Wikipedia, you'll find that this runs 5.1 Lollipop, and uh, so that's the version that we need. So this is the current version, even though it's over two years old. So all we do is we just click on that there. And what will happen is this can harm your device. Just say OK. And it's already downloaded. So all we do is just press Open. There we go. And we click on Next. And we click on Install. Hopefully I'll get out the shot there. Nobody wants to see my face. So we just all we do then is just click on done. Right. And then what you do is go back into the description and click on the next one down. Which is the Google Play Services APK. Just scroll down until you see the download and then just click on download. Again, it's going to come up with this little error message or warning or whatever and you just click on OK. Now all we do now is just wait for this to download. It might take a few moments, really depends on your internet speed I guess. We can just click on the three lines there and then you just click on downloads and it'll come up and it's already downloaded. So we just click on the open, click on next, and click on next and then we click on install really easy so far isn't it get me out the shot nobody wants to see my face and we just wait for it to install it takes a few seconds this one just be patient there you go that took maybe about 40 seconds to download or to install I should say so just be patient with that and all we do now is click on done all right and then we just click on the back button if you're on that screen then you want to go into the third link which is the Google account manager APK just click on again the download APK you click on OK and then we just click on open dead quick again out the shot, click on next, click on next, and then we click on install. And we wait for this to install. So far, so good. Pretty easy, yeah? So we just click on done, and then we click on this one here, Google Play Store APK. So it's the last download. And then we go download Play Store APK. Just click on it there. And again, we wait for this to come up. This might take a little bit longer again. Again, we can press the three lines here. 
Oh, it's already gone already. I wasn't patient enough. Just press OK. It's still downloading there. So we can just press the three lines, three buttons, and then click on download. And there we go, it's now complete. So we just click on open. Click on next. Click on install. And now we wait for this to install. Apologies for my dirty table. It's just a very old table. There we go, and it is now done. So we can just click on done. And then click on the home button. And if we click down to the bottom, we'll notice there we go, we've got the Play Store. So you just click on that. And there you go, it says checking info. Again, that took maybe about 30 seconds. And then it's just a case of signing into your Google account. And there we go, the Google Play Store is open. And then all we have to do is search for anything that you want, and it obviously has to be YouTube. And there we go. Now, don't be worried if you got a few error messages there or it crashes. Uh, what will happen is it's just doing an automatic update and you might get a server error, but just click continue and it will work. So don't be afraid if that actually happens. So there you go. That was just a quick video to show you how easy it is to get the Google Play Store onto these fantastic tablets. These are, without a doubt, in my opinion, the best value for money tablets you can buy on the market, especially when you get them on a sale price. Absolutely 100% love them, especially if you've got kids. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you like other videos just like this one, then click subscribe button, like and share. And I really will do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you're all well. Bye-bye. Subscribe. Thank you.